Hello again, YouTube fans. This is Creepy Dollman back with a new episode. Okay, it is July the 31st of 2017. Time is now 2.41 a.m. We're bringing up the topic on this little guy. He's so cute, and I hate to tell you, it's a, there's a male spirit attached to this doll. So this is actually a male. And you can see he's very cute. And yeah, I've been recording these things for a reason. So we're going to do it just on this topic, on this doll only. His name is JR. And uh, we had a special way to interview them. Uh, through Morse code. How they do it, it was flickering the light. And it looks wild how it shows up in the video. It only affects the video, but not the light itself, which is weird. And I showed that several times. I only showed it back quite a while back how it was done. No cheap special effects. <laughs> and, you know, there was nothing odd about it. So you see my little guy do anything, or bend or do anything, let me know. If he moves in the shot, let me know. So, uh, before this is over with, this video will be released tomorrow. It'll probably be late in the afternoon or late in the evening. If it doesn't make it before midnight, it'll be August the 1st when it gets released. Uh, I would say late tomorrow or make it before August the 1st one. So, I'm pushing for it. Now, in our interview that he told us he was 30 some years of age when he died. I believe it was he was 30... He's in his early 30s, about 30 or 33, somewhere about that that line. Um, he is, his name is JR, and I believe he's white. He's not Asian, but he picked the Asian doll, which is nice. Uh, very cute little guy, too. Um, the long story is, uh, I took this haunted doll with me to the church today, and, uh, it's lucky nobody didn't say nothing smart about it. I was more afraid he would have, uh, you know, uh, he would have been, you know, I say if I brought him in church, I was more afraid if he was a possessed doll, he would, uh, you know, burst into flames. Or you can call it a, con a you know, combus combustion. And he didn't do that. So he didn't combustion into, meaning burn into he didn't burn into flames, so he's still here in one piece. Uh, we survived the whole session. He got to hear the whole gospel. And uh, it's kind of cool that this haunted doll can enter church. He's not an unholy doll. Meaning he's also not an unholy spirit. If he can enter the threshold of the church, you know, the church is sacred. Only an unholy uh, you know, on the Holy Spirit cannot enter in it, but he entered in it, and he he's still here, and he's intact. And uh, you know, it's been like that today. I took him in the day early today, ten forty. We got there probably at ten forty six or ten forty eight a.m. this morning. We got there in time before they start singing, and uh, we got to hear the gospel. And uh, the good part is John, uh, our pastor John, preached this time. He didn't, uh, you know, he didn't act up and acting goofy like like the other pastors do. He tells the gospel, and uh, he doesn't, you know, bring in movies or, you know, family affair and all the other stuff. And he, he tells it like it is by the Bible. But this little guy here, you know, I wanted to bring him out. He's only eight inches. You know, he's a very small doll, but he was easy to pack in my little bag. So he can go anywhere. I have a little small camera bag, so he can go in that. And I think he liked the trip. It's the first time I ever walk him. So if you like this video, let me know. Another thing is that he was happy to go with me to church because I made a promise to take him and he wanted to go to church, so I took him. 
because he asked me to, you know, when we interviewed him, he said he wanted to go, so it was kind of cool. So this is a creepy doll man said, please check out all my videos and please subscribe. And I said, see new videos to come soon. And I said, goodbye and God bless you all.